Is Tom Girardi lying about moving into this assisted living facility that we took a tour of the other day? And the battle between Garcelle and Teddy is on. Welcome back to the Kim Fire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So before we get into the Tom Girardi mess, let's talk about Teddy and Garcelle. So if you've been under a rock and you didn't watch last week's episode, during last week's episode, we got a return of Teddy Mellencamp, which nobody asked for. But according to Kyle, Kyle has said in the after show, which is one of the best parts of the Raw Housewives of Beverly Hills, is that she brought Teddy because, you know, Teddy hadn't been out since her, you know, the birth of her, her last child and her last child had went through some health issues. But she also wanted to bring continued to, uh, more support for Erica Girardi, which goes back to what all of you have been saying. The reason that Erica Girardi was so prepared for that conversation was because either Lisa Renna or Kyle or both of them gave her a heads up. I really do believe that. I really do believe that. But with all that being said, in Garcelle's confessional, she said, why is Teddy here? <laughs> and that was during the after show. But she also said it during the show. Just like, what is going Why is Teddy here? Why is she a part of this conversation? And we all were asking that. We were all asking that. She even called her a gnat. <laughs> Look, Garcelle does not have a storyline. I've said it. You know, I'm a straight shooter when it comes to this stuff. She does not have a storyline. I know the storyline she's trying to give us. I'm not that interested in. However, Garcelle blends so well with this group. She's funny. She's real. She She's everything that we need. And I'm willing to give Garcelle more opportunities to do whatever she needs to do to be on this show. Point blank, period. With that being said, so she called Teddy a gnat, which is perfect, which was perfect, which was perfect. Annoying, we did not ask you to be here, Teddy. Well, of course, Teddy decided to weigh in and share her thoughts on social media. Well, not just on social media, she shared it on her podcast. And shout out to our friends over at Queens of Bravo. And of course, I'm going to show you what they posted. So Queens of Bravo, thank you, first of all, for listening to the podcast so that we didn't have to. We did not have to be subjected to Teddy, Teddy Mellencamp anymore. So they said this. I was listening to Teddy's podcast, The Things I Do For Y'all, <laughs> and during her appearance at Kyle's dinner, Teddy overheard Garcelle tell production, she says, why is she even here and why does she get to have an opinion? Cheers, hashtag R-H-O-B-H. Okay, okay. It didn't stop there, though, y'all. It didn't stop there. So Garcelle took to her Twitter and posted this. Well, that's not true. I said it in front of her while we were there. This was Teddy's response to Garcelle and fans that were talking about it on social media. She says, I said you said while looking at production in front of me while filming, and I responded, do I need to ask you when I can speak? Maybe I should have asked why you text me happy birthday or about mattresses and agents if you're so bothered by me. But feed the trolls and thanks for the listeners. Oh, Teddy. Look, I get what Garcelle was probably saying in the moment, but I'm not going to hear it. I'm not here to speak for Garcelle. But she's probably asking, like, what's the point of Teddy being here, a part of this conversation, when she has not been a part of the season? She has not been a part of the season. Why is she here having this conversation when she wasn't a part of the conversation that we had with Sutton? If anything, she really is a gnat. She really is just this other voice coming in for no reason. You don't know what's been going on. And maybe you do because you're friends with Kyle, but we don't want it. Kyle's not that interesting either. So Kyle, you bringing someone else that's just as not interesting, it's not helping your case. If anything, thank you for it, Kathy, but you can keep Kyle. You can keep Teddy. You can keep Teddy. But since we're talking about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, we have to talk about Tom Girardi. As you know, we reported just the other day about Tom Girardi moving out of his Pasadena mansion, allegedly. Now we have to say allegedly, because now we're hearing he might not just be doing this for show. As you guys saw the black eye, as you saw with everything that he's been doing so far in regards to Alzheimer's, dementia, no one believes him. Well, Ronald Richards, one of our favorite lawyer trolls, but also very much involved in finding out where the money is, does not believe that Tom Girardi is moving into this 
assisted living facility, old folks home. You guys are so disrespectful. Assisted living facility. Okay, that's what it is. As we reported, and I'll post the link to the tour if you missed the tour. This place, based on what you guys are saying, is very cheap. It's very cheap for how much normally an assisted living facility would be. With that being said, he pointed, Ronald Richards pointed out some really interesting things. And one of those interesting things is, where's the luggage? Oh, and you're just standing out, even looking at the cameras. Let's take a look at what Ronald Richards had to say. Oh, Ronald. <laughs> but I'm here for it. I'm here for it because you know what? I didn't even pay attention to it. I was just like, you know, let me report on this news. I didn't even pay attention. But this is why Ronald Richards is here. He is not just an attorney. He is investigating what is going on. This is what he tweeted. No bags, scripted photo op, quote, exclusive story, no notice, something isn't adding up. We should have an update by tomorrow. Ger hashtag Girardi fraud. Stay tuned. And again, you see the photos. And again, I'm just going to say to you, the big, big, biggest crime here are those pants. The biggest crime here are those pants. But he, br he brings up some good points. But maybe, you know, if, if I can play devil's advocate. Maybe he was going to take a look at a possible place to live. Maybe he was taking a look. But if you know anything about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, and reality TV news, a lot of the times, these exclusives, these photo ops, these stories are fed by the actual celebrities. Because if you look at some of your favorite celebrities, they're able to live private lives because they have chosen to live private lives. A lot of these other celebrities feed off of the, the news talking about them. They make more money. It adds to their bank accounts. All of that. So I don't believe that Tom Girardi is moving out of the Pasadena mansion just yet. He will have to at some point. Will he do jail time? I don't think so, based on what we've been hearing from some of our favorite lawyers like Ronald Richards and Emily D. Baker. But he definitely will not have the million dollar life that he's been used to. Either way, you know, we will be continuing to follow this story and the Girardi Keith Law Firm auction. We will be going back and revisiting to see what is left, where the bids are. <sighs> you know, at the end of the day, and, and I really try to remember to always bring this back to the victims. We have to keep talking about the victims of Tom Girardi. Ronald Richards is doing his job. I know I, I laugh. You know, I, I'm facetious when I'm saying I call him a troll. No, he's doing his job. He's trying to find out where the money is to get at least something, at least something for these victims. I want to know your thoughts on some of this Real Housewives of Beverly Hills news. Don't forget, we will be watching and recapping Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Up and Adam will be here tomorrow on the channel for our very first live together on my channel. You know, I'm always on his channel. But he'll be here tomorrow for a recap of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And we're going we're gonna to talk. I have to pick his brain because not only has he spoken to Ronald Richards, but he's spoken to Emily D. Baker. So I want him to provide some more depth to what is going on. We're going to talk all about it here on the Kempire Daily YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks again for watching.